In this video, we're going to learn how to create our own two lower function in C. So C includes a library called C type. And the C type library includes a function called two lower. When the two lower function is passed an uppercase letter, it's going to return the lowercase version of that letter. So in the case of uppercase Y, the two lower function is going to return lowercase Y. We'll test it out here. So we'll save this and run it. And we get back lowercase y when the function is passed the character uppercase y. If the function is passed a character that is already a lowercase letter or is not a letter at all, it just returns that character. So if we pass the character lowercase b, we'll get back lowercase b. If we pass the function the character number sign, we'll just get back number sign. And we can save this and test it, and we'll get back lowercase b and number sign. So that's how the function works. We want to make our own version of this function. So characters on computers are actually represented with integer numbers using what's called an encoding, where every character is assigned a unique number. Let's print out the character uppercase y as an int value. So we'll say y, and we're going to use percent %d to output the character uppercase y as an int value. We can save this and run it, and we get 89. So the integer 89 is used to represent the character uppercase y. Down here, I have a partial list of how different characters are encoded. So the character less than is encoded with the number 60. The character question mark is encoded with the number 63. The character uppercase a is encoded with 65, uppercase B with 66. And it continues like this in sequence until we get to uppercase Z, which is encoded with 90. If we keep scrolling down, we're gonna find that the character lowercase a is encoded with 97, the character lowercase b is encoded with 98. And again, this continues in sequence until we get to lowercase z, which is encoded with 122. So we can use this information to help us write our two lower function. We know that the lowercase characters a to z have the range 97 to 122. And we know the uppercase characters a to z have the range 65 to 90. And if we subtract 65 from 97, we see that the difference between these ranges is 32. So if the character is between uppercase A and uppercase Z, we can convert it to a lowercase equivalent by adding 32. And that's gonna be our algorithm to solve this problem. So up here, let's create our own two lower function now. We'll say int two lower, and the function is going to accept an integer as an argument. We'll have the function return an int value and accept an int argument because that's how the official two lower function works. Next, we'll check to see if our argument is in the range of uppercase A and uppercase Z. In other words, is it between these two values? If it is, then we have an uppercase letter that we actually want to convert to a lowercase letter. And what we're going to do is return that number plus 32. And that's going to return the integer that represents the lowercase version of the letter that we've just detected. Now, if the argument is not an uppercase letter, we're just going to return C. We're going to do nothing. Now, it might seem odd to be using the operator greater than or equal to with the uppercase character A and the operator less than or equal to with the uppercase character Z. But remember, the character uppercase A is really just the integer 65. And the character uppercase Z is really just the integer 90. So this is equivalent. I'll switch it back to this though. I think this is a bit more readable. So let's test out our version of the two lower function now by putting the underscore character here that differentiates our version from the built-in version. So we'll save this and run it and we get back the exact same results as before. We could test this out with a few more letters, just to be sure. So for example, we could test out the function with 
maybe uppercase A. And we'll test it out with uppercase Z. This way we can test out both boundaries of the range we're concerned with. So we'll try this too. We'll save it and run it. And we get back lowercase a and lowercase z. So this is how we can make our own two lower function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.